Hello everyone, welcome to the Closet Reviewer channel. Today's video is dedicated to the makeup brand called MAC, I'm sure you're familiar with it, and there are three main reasons why I would like to uh, visit their online shop today. First one is because my uh, eyebrow pencil has run out, so I need to purchase a new one. Uh, secondly, I would like to purchase an eyeliner. I used to have eyeliners in the past, but to be honest, I never got that familiar with them to apply them every day. But I'm sure that an eyeliner can make your eyes bigger, can make your eyes look uh, brighter and wider and definitely give a bit of emphasis to your eyes. But the main reason why I would like to visit uh, the MAC website today is to purchase the lipstick that they have been advertising on their Instagram account. And they promise that this lipstick doesn't fade at all from your lips, even if you eat, even if you drink, even if you kiss. I have a question, how do you take it out at all from your lips? Let's start the journey of shopping together. I have opened uh, the website of macrosmetics.co.uk in front of me and we will try to find uh, the three beads that I mentioned in the beginning uh, of the video. And I would like to start uh, with uh, the lipstick because I think it's more interesting than the eyeliner or the um, eyebrow pencil. And I guess that we will be able to find the lipstick within the new category because it's quite new product within their uh, range. Let's click there. Here it is. Oh, um, locked kiss ink lipstick. Let's click on it. Wow, the variety of the colors that they offer is amazing, and I think that we will find it difficult to select uh, only one color from this range of colors. What is good about MAC, and I'm sure that a lot of uh, brands are doing this uh, as well, that you have the opportunity to try on uh, something that you buy from the website in a virtual environment. And here's an option, if you quickly click on try it on, we will see how different colors will uh, look on our face. It's loading and let's have a look. So the first color is the intense cherry uh, red color. Mm, it looks actually very nice, but I think it's more of a color that I would wear in autumn and in winter time rather than in spring and summer. I would look for something more uh, neutral and more down to the ground, I would say. Next one, classic blue red. This one is uh, quite intense to wear it every day. You wouldn't be able to wear this color every day, I think, because you would get bored. I would go with a more neutral color for an everyday use. Let's click on the next one. Okay, I was expecting that that could be a little bit darker than the one that I'm looking for. This color is, again, a little bit more intense to what I am currently trying to find. Let's go to the next one. What's this color? Mm black <laughs> that could be a very nice color if you have wednesday adam style <laughs> not my color this one is um a little bit too brown let's have a look mm. <gasps> yeah that's the color that i would definitely wear every day oh no it's out of stock I'm not lucky, I'm not lucky. <laughs> and I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to wait at all. I want it all and I want it now. <laughs> so I will probably write down this color and I would definitely purchase it in the future, but because I want to try something sooner than it will be back in stock, I will keep going with the rest of the colors. But this color is amazing. Next one, um, okay, this one is too bright for me. This one, clean rose, looks very nice. I like this color, but I'm not sure. I think it's too heavy for spring and summertime season. So I will proceed to the next colors. This one's too, too yellow, too orangey. This color is very nice. I love it. And uh, not again. It's out of stock. <laughs> I'm not lucky at all today, guys. <laughs> oh. And to be honest, I don't know if this one is better than the other one. I love both colors. And I think that I will add it into my bag when it's back in stock. And let's go with the rest colors. Mm. This one actually is uh, very nice. But still, I think it's a little bit dark for spring and summertime. This one is very beautiful. 
are the intense burnt orange vicious very nice for um, summer for cocktails outside in the terrace in the summer with a nice dress it's very nice but I wouldn't wear it every day again because it's a little bit too bright, too much for me for an everyday use. This one is um, brown and uh, it lacks a little bit of this warm undertone uh, in it. Uh, rich wine, too dark for spring and summer. Of course you can wear it depending on the occasion but I wouldn't wear this color every day because uh, again it's uh, too dark, uh, too heavy for an everyday use. This is what I think. Warm brick red. Too red, too bright. <laughs> mm, this one is exactly what is needed. It's not bright, it's not heavy, it's not dark and I think that you could wear this color on an everyday basis. It underlines your lips, it could be worn with uh, multiple outfits and colors because it's quite uh, neutral. And I think that this is a yes and I will add it to my bag. There it is, add to bag. And let's have a look at the rest of the colors. This one, too dark, too brown light rose nude is very nice but i found it a little bit intense for everyday use but if you love this color just feel free to uh, add it to your bag this one is too bright terracotta this color is too pinky for me for an everyday use this is too intense too heavy this color looks nice as well and let's compare okay so deep tone beige color, dirty peach, deep tone beige, dirty peach. I think that the dirty peach is better because it's warmer, it's not uh, that um, dark and deep color. I prefer the one that we added already to our bag. Let's go to the next one, meticulous, mid-tone nude. Mm, I like this color as well. But if comparing to the one that we have added into our bag, this one is more brown than the uh, Dirty Peach. Dirty Peach is more red. It has this red undertone when uh, this color is a little bit brown for me. Yeah, I think the one that we had chosen so far is the best one <laughs> among the ones that are in stock, of course. And let's go to the next one, uh, Dusty Rose. Too dark for me for spring and summertime. Light pinky nude. Mm, I love this color, but I don't think that it's pinky. I think it's a more brown than pink. So if comparing to the one that we had added, this one is more red. I think it's more of a spring summer version. Yeah, for sure. My rule is that dark, deep colors, heavy colors are more, I would say, suitable for autumn and winter. And of course, bright colors, strawberry colors, uh, raspberry colors, red colors, depending on the red color, of course, if it's a coral red, it's always for uh, spring and uh, summertime. But you can break the rules, of course, you can wear what you like to wear when you like to wear it. And maybe this is what makes you to uh, stand out. And let's try the uh, rest of the colors that are uh, towards the end of the palette. So this one, um, I find it uh, a little bit too nude. <laughs> Finally, I said that, a little bit too nude for me. It lacks a little bit of uh, color, but if this is what you are after, just feel free to add it to your bag. And this one, tomato red. Wow, that's very red. I've never worn such a red color and uh, I think I would wear it only for a special occasion or for a night out. And uh, we have two more left, the ones that are in stock, carnivore, deep blood red. That's very dark, <laughs> but you know that I would say that. And mauve nude. This one is a little bit uh, too purple for me. 
uh, for spring and summertime, but in autumn and winter time, I think it could be um, a very nice option. And actually, it matches my my um, <laughs> it matches my nails. <laughs> so I think we found our uh, lipstick, and now we are going to find the eyeliner. And I will just type in here eyeliner because I don't want to look into the other products that they have because I will end up buying half of the shop. I think I have found the one that I want and let's click add to bag. And last but not least, I need to find a brow pencil. So um, after having used a lot of different types of pencils for eyebrows, in my opinion, and this is, uh, I would say from my experience, this is what I have come up with, that the pencil always lasts much more longer than the pencil that you have to screw to bring uh, the, um, the, pen, the pencil itself out. I had this color, it was a little bit too gray for me deep dark brunette i think that i will go with deep dark brunette what do you think <laughs> um usually you should match your pen to the roots uh to the roots of your hair because this is uh the, your natural color and i think that i will select this one i will get the deep dark brunette and add back maybe i can try it on first before buying it wow <laughs> i mean <laughs> It's just so funny the color the color is very nice of the pencil itself but my eyebrows are huge <laughs> oh my god i can't believe it that i saw that <laughs> sorry just can't stop laughing mm, yeah um eyebrow itself is very huge oh dear oh my god thank god i don't have to <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry guys, I just I just cannot see this anymore. Can I can I turn it off? Turn it off. <laughs> okay, so I think the color is uh, the best. This color, the dark dirt chocolate, is my option. I will order these uh, three beads that we have added uh, into uh, the bag, and I really am looking forward to trying this lipstick to see if it will indeed last for 24 hours. Um, thank you so much everyone for uh, your time. Thank you for uh, following me in uh, this journey. I hope you had a little bit of fun as well. And uh, please subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date uh, with uh, the new content that I upload. Put your thumbs up if you enjoyed today's uh, video and let's stay in touch in other platforms as well. Do remember that you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on TikTok. Uh, and uh, let's connect there and uh, let's keep in touch and see you soon. Bye!